Hello everybody, it's Rose and I'm back to you with another unboxing video. So this is my Japanese princess and I'm just so excited to be getting this and opening it up and I'm really happy about what I see so far. It looks like it's been super well packed for travel. Okay, I'm cutting through layers here and not getting to... Hold on. Um, I'm not sure my scissors are the most effective thing. I'm going to get my knife. Okay. Okay, so here I am with the knife. That is a little bit more effective. Okay. It is super well packed. Okay. Looks like I have to cut a little bit more. I don't want to cut through to the diamond painting itself. So, whoops, don't want to cut myself either. All right, let's see. Okay, so there's one mailer, and then there's bubble wrap, and then there's cellophane, more cellophane. Here are the diamonds and the, there's the diamonds and there's the thumbnail. Here's the tool kit. Let's see what we got. Carefully wrapped in bubble wrap. This is like the most carefully wrapped package I think I've received so far. All right, so we've got a single placer, oops, single placer, a regular tray with a cutout, a big piece of wax, um, regular tweezers and a number of uh, bags and then another kit the same so two kits in case you want a diamond paint with a friend all right so I've got a lot okay. these are all the diamonds there are a lot of diamonds here all right let's let's get into the diamond painting itself Okay, so super carefully wrapped with all the bubble wrap. And now what we have is the diamond painting and what they've done, whoops, what they've done is they've wrapped it in cellophane rather than tape to keep it, and I cut through the tape when I was cutting into the bag. Okay, but that's okay, as long as I, or not, I cut through uh, the paper. But as long as I didn't cut the canvas, well, I did cut the canvas a tiny bit. Oh, well, um, it, this will be glued down onto whatever backing I frame it on. So that's that's my bad. Um, and you know, hmm, what am I going to do about that? Okay, what I'm going to do about that is I'm going to take some packing tape. And I'm just going to tape the back of the painting because I don't want that to come apart. So note to self for future, don't be so excited about opening a package. Bad things might happen. So yeah, the cut is uh, fairly long. Um, but like I say, I'm not too fussed about it because it's not going to damage the painting in any way. And I'll just pull this tape off before I mount the picture. because this one is definitely going to be framed. Okay, it's not adhering too, too well there, but I don't care. It's, it, it'll be good enough. All right. So let's take a look at the back of the canvas. This canvas that just goes on and on and on. Okay, so we got a foam roller here, one of the big ones, which I used to keep, but not anymore. That goes in the garbage. 
because I wasn't actually using them for anything. So, all right, so looking at the back of this canvas, it is absolutely pristine. You can see where the two pieces of uh, adhesive were laid, that line down the middle there. But other than that, there's no wrinkles, there's no rivers, there's nothing. It is perfect, except for the cut that I made. All right, so this is supposed to be 58 by 90 centimeters. So just a little tiny bit, two centimeters smaller than the um, Golden Dragon that I made for my daughter, which some of you might remember. I don't think I can get it all in frame. Uh, actually, yes I, yes I can. Let's see. No, I can't get it all in frame. So we'll do this bit by bit. Um, so let me pull back the paper. So this is a little bit odd. It comes in four strips. So there's, I want to make sure you can see this. So it comes in this strip here, which is about a, I don't know, let's see, how wide is that? That is 30 centimeters wide. And then I got another one that's 25 and a half centimeters wide. And then another one that's two centimeters wide. And then one that's one centimeter wide. So that's a lot of strips. It's a little odd, but as long as they're not laid one on top of another and they aren't, that's not going to be a problem. It's just gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass because I have to lift four strips of uh, paper every time. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna pull this up to uh, make sure this lays flat and doesn't curl anymore. And then I'll show you uh, the drill field. So the adhesive appears to have been very well laid, even though there are four strips of it. Okay. I don't know if you can see, yeah, I'm not sure you can see this too well. Let me just move some of my stuff aside here. I'll, show, I'll put this on the floor in a moment and show you on the floor so that you can see the whole, the whole thing. Okay, this little tiny strip is hard to align perfectly again. Okay, so that's one side. All right, great. Okay, so um, let's see. I'll turn it and I'll flatten the other side. And then I'll put it on the floor. And because I have my dog and my cats free in the house, uh, I'm going to ask my daughter to make sure that they don't step on the diamond painting and leave their tracks and fur and stuff on it. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, what a, okay, I, I did a real bad by cutting that, oh well. I was watching, I think it was Alison Rosen, um, and she took a great big humongous diamond painting, and she on purpose cut it up into a whole bunch of smaller workable uh, pieces to before she started diamond painting, and then she glued them all back together um, on whatever she mounted them on. Um, 
But uh, so I know that having cut the canvas as I did is not a big problem. Thank you, Allison. Okay. All right, so now as you see, the canvas is perfectly flat. I don't have to worry about any curling. All right, so I'm gonna put it down on the ground. I'm gonna pause you while I reorganize things a little bit. And it'll be a second for you. God knows how long it'll be for me. Okay, everybody, so I've got it laid out on the floor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up from the bottom to expose the picture. So the last couple of inches will not be showing because I'm not gonna pull the paper right off because then I'll never be able to put it on straight. So look at that. That's my Japanese princess or geisha, whatever you want to say. And that's without any diamonds on her. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she absolutely stunning? I think she is. I think she is. I'm going to bring you in closer. Okay. All right. So let's start at the top. We're going to be able to see her eyes really well and the design on her kimono. Look at all those flowers and the colors. Oh my God, the colors. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay, that's good. Um, oh, let's take a look at the legend. So I'm going to pause you again while I put the paper back because I don't want a cat walking across this. And uh, I'll show you the legend, but let's take a look at the drill field. So this is super clear. And guess what, people? We got a cat incoming. Oh, cat incoming. Oh dear. No, Micah, stay away. Okay, we're, we're going to have to make this. Okay, Micah is, as you know, my camera hog. She loves coming to the camera. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm scratching behind her neck. So anyway, it's an awkward position uh, because she's sort of behind me. Anyway, so let's take a look at the symbols here. As you see, they're all super clear. It's all alphanumeric symbols. There's no weird things that I have to make up some crazy name for. It's all stuff that you would find on a keyboard. And, um, and yeah, they are extremely clear. There is no way I'm going to have trouble reading any of these symbols. So I just saw over here a little area where the glue is raised a tiny bit. So when I flatten this again, uh, I'm just going to take a moment to, uh, to flatten that down. Another little one there, but that is because of me unrolling it. It's not, it was not there when, uh, when the canvas was, was wrapped up. That's, uh, that's just happened. So I'm going to pause you again. Okay. So I covered the princess back up and now we're going to get into the drills. So for this little part where I'm going to be organizing them all and doing the inventory, I'm going to be fast forwarding through all of this, but I will, um, I, I will make sure that you get to see all of the colors when they're laid out on the, uh, on the back of the canvas. So starting now.
going to fast forward through this. I'm going to do it all and you guys can fast forward through it yourself if you don't want to see it. But I think there are some of you who will enjoy this, so I'm going to do it long ways. Thirteen nine thirty nines. So, so far I've seen a bunch of reds and pinks and things like that that are just stunning. The 349 that I showed you, the 815 that I showed you, the 3607, just stunning colors. I love them so much. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This one fifty five is gorgeous. And one fifty five was missing from my purple angel, but I think those might have been rounds. I can't remember. Um if there are spares, I might be able to make it up here because they gave me 22 bags, so that would be 4,400, and I need 4,384. Meh, there probably won't be too many spares. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, and Micah's back because Micah. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Okay. Um, and this 155, that's a gorgeous color. Love that color. I used to have a, an outfit in that color, and I used to wear it all the time. I get all kinds of compliments on it. Uh, okay, 758. Three. That's a 950, and I only need one. So this 961 is also a very pretty color. Look at that. All right, 961. I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, this is another stunning color. 3745. Okay. One, oh, wait a minute, did I count the 961s? I did count them, I just didn't mark them. Okay, 37, 46, I need 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14. Pretty, so pretty. Okay, oh, all right, 550. You guys all know that 550 is one of my all-time favorite colors. It's just stunning. Okay, 550. I need 20 of them. I need 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. 792. Another gorgeous color. Wait a minute. 792 is not on my list. Oh, yes, it is. I need 22 bags. Okay. Another beautiful color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, 962, wait a minute, what was that? 792, there we go. 962, I need four bags, and I have four bags. Okay, I am loving these colors. 159, I need 15 bags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright. I've got to make them look pretty when they lay in here. Because. 
because, okay, um, 37, 43, I need 10 bags, and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's another, it's not like my favorite purple, but it's nice, and it's going to look beautiful in the picture. That's 38, 35, wait a minute. 38.35. And I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Very good. Now some green. 33.63. There we go. Damn it. I keep forgetting to mark these off. Okay, 33.63, I need 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right. And I ordered um, some special containers for to kit this up and another one that I'm doing. Uh, I didn't count how many picture, how many colors there are. I will count at the end. Uh, wait a minute, 3363, I tell you. Okay, 453, it's a, it's a, I actually like that color. It's not something I would ever in a million years wear, but I do like this color. 453, I need four bags, and I've got four bags. 3354, I have two bags. Three tens. I need 18 bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There we go. All right. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. I need 19 bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. All right, thirty-seven, thirty-one. I have three bags, and I need three bags. Five, four, three. I need one bag. Four, thirty-six. I need five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Thirty-eight. What is that? Thirty-eight. Wait a minute. Thirty-eight. Oh, okay. I was looking at it wrong. I think I was looking at it the wrong way. That's thirty-eight sixty. I, I thought it was thirty-eight ninety. Yeah, it's thirty-eight sixty. And I need five bags, and I've got five bags. Thirty-eight sixty-one. I need nine bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seventy-five, three bags. There we go. Okay, this is four fourteen, and I need seventeen bags. One. That's a pretty pur that's sort of a it's an interesting gray. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Okay. Thirty-eight sixty-three. 
I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags. And that's what I need. Thirty-eight. Looks like a thirty-eight oh three. It's not printed terribly well. Thirty-eight oh three. I need eight bags. It's a nice color too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight forty-two. I need three bags. I forgot to mark off the thirty-eight oh three. Okay. Uh, thirty-seven seventy-nine. I'm not a fan of peach, but that's a really pretty color. Thirty-seven seventy-nine. I need one bag. Oops. Thirty-seven twenty-two. I need three bags, and I got three bags. Thirty-seven, thirty-three. I need one bag. And thirty-seven, twenty-seven. I need nine bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is lovely. I don't know if I've ever had a 777 before. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, six. There we go. This is kind of an olive -y, well, an olive -y brown. It's uh, 8.38, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Lots of this. This is beautiful. 3.33. I need 18 bags. Look at this. This is such a beautiful color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right, and uh, my, my last bag that I have is uh, 318. And I'm supposed to have 34 of them. So that is my most prevalent color. Yeah, that's definitely my most prevalent color. Okay, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. One day I'm going to catch it, count in French or in Portuguese just just to mix things up a bit. Okay, 318. Not my 34 bags. Okay, so I either missed the five marking the five bags of 436, or I didn't get them. Oh. Okay, I I'm hoping that I just forgot to mark these. But I'm missing a bunch here. So I'm going to double check as I put them in my Ziploc bag for storage. Um, this I will fa fast forward through. So get ready for the happy music once more.
colors in here. Let's count to see how many colors I'm supposed to have because it looks like I either missed 3746 both times that I did the inventory or uh, it's missing. So let's just count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. You know what? I'm just going to write beside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So apparently I somehow missed 37, 46 both times that I did my inventory. Uh, okay, so 43 colors. So that's good. Um, after I finish this video, I'm actually going to find the 3746 in there because it's going to drive me insane otherwise. There's the 3746. I counted them all again and I still missed it. So thank God my daughter was here because she counted it. She went through them all and she found it. So there's supposed to be 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I'm pretty certain the reason I missed it was because this was one of the ones that I was ooing and eyeing over the color and I got so excited I forgot to check it off the list. Oh well, and I, I also thought it was going to be a beige so I think that's why I missed it when I was doing the others. Okay, so back to regularly scheduled uh, uh, video. Okay, so now what I haven't done yet is uh, verify the measurements and give you all of the ordering information for this lovely painting. Okay, so let's see what I got here. You won't be able to read this, but uh, so it's supposed to be 56 by 90. Let's see what it actually is. Or it's supposed to be 58 by 90. And it is exactly 58 centimeters wide. Oh, I can turn off the flash. Save my battery a little bit. Okay. Um, that didn't work. Okay. Um, by 90, let's see, from the beginning of the drill field down to the bottom. Is exactly 90. Okay. So that is accurate. So I'm just going to highlight that and bold it. That's how I know that the measurements are correct. It is, of course, a square drill. I got it on AliExpress from the Cuff W Key store. It cost me $72.73. That's Canadian. And. That was after a $4.03 store discount was applied. So I ordered this on uh, February 19th. It was shipped on February 28th and it arrived at my house on March 18th, two days, one day ago, yesterday. So, um, so that's super fast shipping from China. Um, yeah, so I gotta say, this is perfect. Yeah, I'm super happy with this. Um, I now am in a quandary because I so desperately want to do this one. And I just got the Persian Lovers on a Horse that I unboxed a couple of days ago. And I so desperately want to do that one. Um, and I'm ordering uh, a mermaid for my daughter for her birthday, 
which is going to be probably a few months late because it's going to take at least a month to get here. Um, anyway, I am in a quandary about what to do next because um, there's just so many beautiful ones to do. But anyway, so here we go. So I will include the link to this diamond painting down below and all of the other information that you need. Uh, but I would have to say that this, this was perfect uh, with the exception of having these two tiny little strips of, of uh, adhesive here. That's just wonky and weird. Um, but, you know, I can live with that. It's not a big deal. Um, it was my fault that the canvas was cut. That was dumb. That was so dumb. Um, but at the same time, I'm not going to fuss about it because this is going to be beautiful to do. It's going to be super nice. It's going to be, it's going to be super. So, um, so yeah, there you go. That is the Japanese princess or the Japanese geisha girl. Uh, from AliExpress Cuff W Key Store. Um, I love this. I love this. I was so, so, so excited when I saw it on uh, the list of new diamond paintings available. And uh, I have zero regrets for having gotten it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. That way. That way. That way. Not the other way. That's bad. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, right down here, you can hit my little, my little person self and you can subscribe. And yeah, if you haven't watched very many of my other videos, you can watch the one down there. It's been picked especially for you. So take care everybody and, um, leave me comments below because you know I love your comments. All right. Bye.